Hey Housemate friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi. <laughs> Today we have some plant things to do. I thought I'd bring you along with me, do this every week. <laughs> Before we get into everything, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube channel memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. Those grant you access to an entire online Discord community of over 200 houseplant parents from all over the world. Come join, hang out. It's a super fun time. I also want to thank Zimf for sponsoring this video. I'm currently wearing the Zimf Aphrodite glasses. These are the number one pair of glasses I ever get asked about. They're my favorite. They are comfortable enough to wear in pajamas and cozy days and stylish enough that I can wear them everywhere. However, I have a bunch of different pairs of Zimf glasses. These are just the ones I frequent the most. Thank you so much Zim for sponsoring this video and let's get into the plant stuff. I have all of these I need to put away. They've actually been sitting out for like, ooh, a week now. Yikes. I had my hair in this like half vibe, but it's gotta go up. It's now Ashley that you see and love every day. <laughs> okay. Also, I got a pet. You guys are gonna be so excited to learn about the pet I got, I think. He's very cute. He's shy though, so you have to be nice. I have a millipede. His name is Benjamin. Benjamin the millipede. And you can see him right there. He's chilling. I'm gonna put him in my biowarp once it comes. I have this biowarp I bought, but then it like broke, so they have to like send a new one and everything. Like there was a leak in it, I guess. Um, but... That's Benjamin! And so I've been keeping him in this little Tupperware and he's just a cute little, a cute little guy and he just eats like decaying plant matter, which is great. We love millipedes. He's so cute. So basically we have to put away these plants and then we gotta water plants and then we gotta water plants in the living room because I've really let it, I've let it get away you guys. I've let it get away, okay? Something I've noticed is I'm like allergic to making new routines. I had a routine at my last place and now at this place, like we've officially been here for a month today. I don't have a routine yet for the plants. I just don't. Also, my plants are definitely lacking in a nutrient and I don't know which one it is. And it's stressing me out, okay? I like went to go fertilize stuff or I'll get to the end of the video and I'll be like, oh, I forgot to fertilize, I'll just do it later. And then I just keep not fertilizing my plants. Um, and they keep, they're just like, they're just like doing something weird. Like my Ilsamania is doing this. And then and it's not root rock because I, I just repotted these. And my Floby is doing this. Like it's getting those streaks. And so I think it's nitrogen because these are my variegated plants. So I've only been giving them 4103. And I think I, got, I need to give them liquider as well. So we're just gonna fertilize everything really heavily today with liquider. I don't know, I just, things, I'm, I'm bothered. I think if I felt more connected to my plants right now, maybe I would be more like motivated to do stuff with them, but I just don't feel connected to my plants right now and I think it's because we moved. My plants sat in boxes for like a week when we first moved here. So everything's stressed, I'm stressed, and I just want my plant, I wanna feel connected with my plants like I did before we moved. And it's just hard to like rebuild that relationship here when everything is like new. I have moved my oblique down to the bottom row. And I'm really happy about that. And it really seems to be helping. Wow, look at this uh, Magnificum Verde leaf coming in strong. That's amazing. And then this poppy leaf right next to it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I bought this variegated Domesticum, okay? And then I got a green leaf with like just a teeny bit at the tip. And then I got another green leaf with just a teeny bit at the top, which I don't even know if you can see yet, right at the top here. And I just unfurled this just like to look at it really fast. And it's like got so much going on. I don't even know if you can see it, but there's like so much happening right there all at once. It literally like, it gave me five green leaves in a row. That's so exciting, that makes me so happy. That's a plant I bought from my friend Sydney. And then this is the other plant I bought from her. And check it out. Did not disappoint. Strawberry shake. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what good plants, dude. Okay, so I just wanna reorganize some things, but I don't know how 
I want to reorganize them. I just know that I'm I'm presently not happy with the situation. Dilendron are all over the place. Like I kind of feel like I need to repot some stuff. I think step one is just like taking some things out of here. This one already looks like it might be popping. This guy. Again, you can't see that much, but there's nothing really to see. So, um, I really want, honestly, I want like my begonias and my terrarium guys to just like be more accessible because they're not, I feel like the most accessible right now. I love having Hoya on the top shelf because they get so sun stressed, but then what happens is like, they just take up space I could be using for other plants. This guy's killing it. This is my Magnificum Poppy hybrid. Okay, so I think that this is a variegated heteracium, but the, the variegation on it is just like too good. So I am holding on to it to see if maybe it turns into an Elsamonii because I throw some nodes in some pretty stupid places. And I just wanna make sure like I didn't forget something. I'm fairly positive it's not, but just in case. You know. Okay, so then we got my orchid. Pink princess, bro, this plant has been nothing but trouble. Isn't it weird that spider mites are like absolutely obsessed with dying plants? Here's the two pink princesses I propagated the other day. Um, they're doing good. Still putting out those super pink spots. And this guy is also still putting out a growth point. I really like my propagations to be on the top row because I feel like the more light, honestly, just like the better. Ecuador glaucus seems to kind of be weirdly struggling. I think he just needs to be not on the top row, but um, he's got some really, really pretty leaves. He's getting kind of tall, but I could propagate the crap out of him soon. I don't even know. Okay, I have no idea what this is. I bought it as annoyed. If you can tell me what you think it is, cool. If not, who cares? It's just a cool looking plant. But actually putting out some absolutely incredible roots right down here. That's one big fuzz root. My homolomina. Okay, this is awesome. So this is like my, uh, one of my homolominas. Well, I think my only one actually. And look at all these beautiful new roots coming in like all over. I've never grown a homolomina before and this is the rubescence pink. And it is definitely, oh, we got some spider mites. I need to like wipe down the backs of my leaves. Okay, uh, but it's getting bigger. So when I first got it, it had four leaves and it was this teeny tiny little leaf. Very large leaves in particular, which are super cool. I can't wait to see how much bigger it gets. I know that those ones get pretty big. My Majestic, which as I thought is actually losing this leaf. Big sad. <laughs> um, this guy looks like he's still gonna be unfurling. Kind of looks like supply got cut off to most of the leaf in the fall. My tripod took, um, but you know, just plant things, I guess. <laughs> then we got my Billy ATA, who is very sadly losing its oldest leaf, which fills me with regret. <laughs> I literally can't do anything about it. I'm not gonna remove it. It's just kind of like dying a little peaceful death. <laughs> it's just normal. Uh, I like plants will, you know, shed their leaves occasionally. If you have leaf loss on a plant that is very particularly healthy, wouldn't worry too much about it. You're probably just having some normal little leaf loss on your plants. Then over here, we got one of my white princess props, which is doing good. Then we got my cute little uh, burly marks variegata. I'm really just obsessed with the yellow variegation right now. This is an Elsamania propagation I took uh, for Plants Meow. We're going to be doing a trade here soon and this guy is going to be going to her. I'm really excited, I'm so excited. We actually have my strawberry shake who is doing really good since I repotted her. There is a secondary little plant in here. Wasn't growing like hardly at all when I first got her. So it's actually this, this little guy right down here. These, these little leaves right here. This plant really wouldn't grow even though I like was doing everything I was supposed to be doing. I just repotted it. I put a bunch more moss in here and I air layered around it and it's finally starting to like actually grow, which is so wonderful because it has some really marvelous uh, variegation on these these littler leaves right here, some really kind of green variegation. And then, remember how I separated a plant from this to sell? Well, my dude decided to shoot out another growth point. So this is from a third plant, uh, which is so awesome. So we're gonna have another shake 
growing on out of here. So this pot's doing really good. I should probably repot the whole thing in a bigger thing, but when I pulled it out to look at its roots, it hadn't filled out the pot yet. So I feel like if I were to repot it, I don't want to be doing it a little too early. You know what I mean? There's that. And then we have my little uh, Peru. So this is the one I got from Botanica's. It's new leaf died inside the petiole. I'm not sure why. Other than that, it's doing really well. I love all yellow variegation. I have this other one over here that also has yellow variegation. And obviously this one's more highly variegated, but these are kind of like two types because this is like white and green and cream on top of each other. And this one's like, oh my gosh, yellow. I just hope that this one is doing okay and it will give me one soon. Also, I think I forgot to show you. I'm pretty sure my homolamina is putting out a pup. You can hopefully see, right, this little thing is a leaf from a uh, division it's made of itself. So hopefully I'll have another one of these here to maybe trade or even sell. Then I have my little Oblica Bolivia node, which I'm going to be growing in. Anthurium berries blue. And I've never grown an anthurium from seed before, but I actually bought this as a seedling from Uncommon House Tucson. I am so excited because it's like actually growing, like I'm doing it. The leaves are progressively getting bigger and bigger uh, each time. And we actually have another new leaf coming in as we speak, which is just so cool. Something I've noticed is the plants kind of like grow angling downward. And I think it's because they're growing towards the light that's reflecting off of the walls. Okay. I have given him what I feel like is a pretty good size mound. Uh, and hopefully he will stay upright more. Uh, I think that that is the hope. Also, like, why do I feel like this is like the fourth time I've reorganized my greenhouse? Okay, now we need to pick we make some decisions, so propagations have to stay up top. Like there is no two ways around it. All right, so I watered everything. It's all dripping. So now we're gonna mix my fertilizer. So this is my 410-3. This is my liquid art. This is our key thing today because in, in images I saw on the internet, it said that what that looks like, like what my plants are doing is nitrogen deficiency, which makes sense because like I've just been feeding them 410-3, right? Which is super high in phosphorus. Some people mix in their liquid art with other stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. If you wanna try out liquid art, it is a super awesome fertilizer and I've partnered with them and they actually uh, directly help support my channel. When you purchase liquid art with code Ashley, I get a kickback from every single purchase. Liquid art is really, really great. It has all your freaking plants need in one freaking bottle, especially nitrogen. We love nitrogen. Liquid art is super, super easy to make. It literally comes in a cute little pouch and then you mix it into this big jug and this is called Called your concentrate and then you take your concentrate and you take two teaspoons of this and you put it inside of your watering can has your water in it and then you water all your plants with it I go a little hard with liquid art because I feel like my plants can honestly never get enough of it and I've never ever had over fertilizing issues especially with liquid art so if you want to try out liquid art make sure you use code plant me underscore 25 to get 25% off that's literally an entire fourth that's $25 off a $100 purchase that is so much. I don't know. I, if I were you, I would do it. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna pour some into my watering can. You can measure it out, but I really want to, I want to get like a lot. Well, I just haven't fertilized in so long. My plants are also just like really stressed because of the move. Like we've only lived here for a month. That's not a lot of time for plants to recuperate. And I'm gonna water my ones that like especially look like they might be struggling a bit. All right, so we fertilized with Newt. Now I'm gonna let these bad boys sit and recuperate. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I took care of my grow tent. Kind of gave you a little bit of a growth update on everything. Please make sure you hit like and subscribe and maybe tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. I'd love to know how your plants are doing. If you guys did a move, did it stress your plants out? I don't know, I just, my plants don't usually take this long to start growing again and they're taking quite a long time. So I'm just a little bit worried. I'm just worried. So please reassure me. <laughs> 
Uh, or just give it to me straight or they're all gonna die. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and being a part of my little planty life. I love sharing my plant stuff with you and I know you guys love to see me take care of my house plants. I hope it's not like too boring, but I like to watch other people do this kind of stuff. So don't forget to check out Liquid Art again. It's plantme underscore 25 to get 25% off your entire order. And that way, if you want to support the channel, but you don't really want to join memberships, maybe you're too young to join the memberships, you get something back for like what you're helping support the channel with. That's my spiel. That's everything. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get to the end of the video fun stuff. And uh, thanks for taking care of my plants with me today. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video fun stuff. It has been a minute since I've made a video. I actually filmed this video almost a week and a half ago. So thanks for bearing with me. I am vibe. I am trying to feel better, you know, do some things for me, put myself first. And so I'm sorry if the uploads aren't just completely consistent right now. I'm trying to figure some things out and thank you for being there for me and always being really nice and understanding and wonderful. I feel like I have one of the tightest little knit communities of other creators and I'm just really grateful for that so thank you for being there i just wanted to give one big shout out to every single one of my subscribers followers and members just every single person today because i'm just so grateful for all of you and thank you so much i'll see you in the next video goodbye